Good morning, one and all. It's Consciousness Rising Mind Your Head here, Rebecca and Natasha. Hello. Hello. Hello, if you're watching on Consciousness Rising, or if you're watching on Truth Pills, or if you're watching on Devin McKenzie Friends. We hope you're all well and thriving this morning. So, today we thought we'd talk about the courts. Yes, and how they use their words and how it's connected, obviously, to this sort of maritime. The trickery. The trickery again. The trickety, tr so I think trickety. We all know, don't we, when we go to court, you stand, when you're the defendant, mm -hmm. you stand in the dock, dock, which of course is a shipping term. Mm -hmm. But it's going to end with a bit more details. So basically, when you go to court, you have like um, a fence, don't you? And a gate. And you walk through the gate. Do you know what? I have to be honest. I haven't ever really been... To, I've done jury service once, which have was you? horrendous. Um but I haven't really been in courts that much. much. I went to court once because I was involved in a hit and run accident when I was younger. I had to go to court. As um, a witness or as a... I was the person that got hit and run. <laughs> I got just outside your house, funny enough. Uh, of course. <laughs> I got run over by a motorbike. She used to live next door when yes. she was a little girl. When I was a little girl, which is weird, isn't it? Very weird. Very strange. Yeah, so it was outside there. So I did go to court then. Um, but I just remember being petrified, if I'm honest. You, you were a child. Yeah, I was a child and it was pretty horrible. Yeah. And um, I had the guy who was standing up for the guy who did the hit and run. His attorney or barrister or whatever was pretty brutal. I just, I think I cried a lot. I couldn't even speak. I just go, hmm. I mean, now they usually have video link for children, don't they? Yeah. To, to, to it was avoid in Torquay, that I think. Trauma. Yeah, I ended up going to Torquay. Anyway, so you have a gate. Um, and the idea is, is... So to, to go into the court, you have to go through the, the gate. gate. So the idea is the judge has no jurisdiction over you when you're just the other side of that gate. If you think about it, the judge can't do anything, can they, to anybody? Just sat in the gallery or anything. You know, the judge has no jurisdiction. Unless you're inside. Because that's considered the land. Oh, okay. And once you go into that So point, when you go through the gate, yes. you're, in, uh, you're no longer on the land. So in theory, once you go through the gate, you have opened yourself up to um, maritime law. So the wood on top of the gate is called the bar, and that represents the sandbar out of the sea. So okay. that's another term. So once you have put your hand on the top of that bar, you're not considered licensed to do that because you're just a mere piece of cattle. We're just people, aren't we? So you're not licensed to go past that bar. So once you've touched the bar, opened the gate, you've opened the floodgate. Right. You're drowning in deep water. In effect, you're dead. You've died because you've opened that floodgate. Okay. You're in hot water. You're in deep water, and, you just... and you've drowned. So by opening that that gate, you have basically opened yourself to your legal fiction, if you like. Yeah. And you are a dead entity. So that's why the attorney has to speak for you. They are licensed to pass that bar. Ah. You see, they are licensed. So a dead man can't talk to the judge. Because he did. Because he did. <laughs> so the attorney, the attorney basically speaks for you and represents you. And that's why you have to, to have an to attorney. Judge. Yeah, and that's why you're not. But you can represent yourself. In I've heard of cases where people have yeah. represented themselves. But I guess they probably haven't gone down the legal fiction route. They're doing it, aren't they, at a different angle? Yeah. If you think about it, they're not, they, ha they, they haven't done the... No, they're not going the to represent themselves yeah. Yeah. In, in the same way that an attorney would. Yeah, so basically, once you've touched that bar, you've handed yourself over to their jurisdiction. So basically. actually, if you got taken to court and you refused to go through the gate, the case couldn't begin. Yeah, it wouldn't be able to begin. It's similar, isn't it, when you all rise as well, if you don't stand, well, you're not that, handing yours. Yeah, there's yeah. that all rise yeah. as a... Have you, got, have you got about that? No, I haven't. Oh, because it's a reference to being dead. Uh, oh, all rise, rise from the dead yes, yes. to partake in court proceedings which can only be obviously yeah yeah so that all rise is 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 another yeah term so if you about refuse, being, if you stay about sat being down. dead yeah Ooh, that's a funny fly thing so let's look at the word <laughs> sorry <laughs> i think where is it i can't even see it it's gone it's like a little tiny fruit fly or something i think it's gone now anyway uh yeah so definition of the word court so there's a few definitions mm. so the first one is a quad space mm. Walled or marked off for playing a game with a ball, mm. overseen by a judge. Because, mm. of course, you get judged. Yeah, like tennis or... Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so the establishment of a sovereign or similar dignitary with a throne. So that would be royal courts. Yeah, royal yeah. courts. And then you've got a manor house or a large building surrounded by enclosed grounds. 
Okay, yeah, like... Which is like a manor house, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like uh, Oakley Court, which Something is like a big house up yep. where I used to live. Um, a wide alley way with one end of the street open to access is also known oh, okay. uh, as a court. Mm. Uh, and then a place for legal administration. So they're merely all venues. They're not courts, as we've been told. As yeah. we understand them, we think there's something else, don't they? But they're not. It, it's the, it's a venue. I mean, it's always struck me about the games. You know, if you're playing a game, you're you're usually playing a game on a court. So yeah. So to me, I've always felt like, well, that's what that's kind of. So the legal system, basically, the word court, the word trial, it's all used in game arenas. Yeah. Isn't it? So yeah. the trial. So um, basically, they 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 plan to con you using wordplay and legal words and word tricks and it's not named a court by accident it's to do with the fact that it does represent a game Ooh. yeah so the word trial uh is used in the sporting world isn't it to sort of select elite athlete, athletes yeah if you, you like you so you go to, go to go, trial you have to try out yeah and they pick out who they want to who that you know who they want to have represent them mm. Um, and in the courts, the word trial is used to see which person is better at using words to convince the judge to choose him as the winner of the game. So you've got these two. So it is a game. Yeah. It is a game. It is a game. And you think about it, they're dressed in black, so they represent the dead yeah. as well. They've got those black robes on, so yeah. they're representing the dead. And it, it's a game. And also we know um, that court cases have gone ahead where I'm going to use the um, O.J. Simpson case that really it's about who's got the best attorney, who's the cleverest at the game, cleverest with the language, to get them off. To win. And and we've seen it again and again and again where we know somebody's guilty, but because they've got the money to pay for the best attorney, they get away with it. So it is, it's just really a competition. It is a competition. Mm. And that's why judges are sometimes referred to um, as administrators as well, because they administrate or manage the rules of the game yeah. in the court or yeah. in the sports arena. Uh, and that's why uh, a judge sits behind um, a raised wooden desk called the bench. Mm. It's another sporting term, isn't it? A bit like an umpire is yeah. on that raised in yeah. tennis. Yeah, that it's raised the same thing. Chair. It's exactly the same. The actual set out is yeah. pretty much the same thing. If I ever do get taken to court, I'll, I think I might just take a tennis racket and tennis ball and just start, <laughs> start serving. That would be really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Juice. <laughs> Just done. So yeah. the definition of a word bench is a seat occupied by an official, especially the judge, uh, or a seat which players sit on whilst not playing. So that's interesting, isn't it? So yeah, judges are also known as bankers uh, as they administrate commercial courts. So it's about commerce and not justice. Mm. So they're also bankers because they're uh, Generating, generating an income. a huge income, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the court system is so expensive. We we know from when we've tried to get legal help with some of our mm. things that we get involved with. It's just per hour. It's just crazy. It's ridiculous, money, isn't it? It's, yeah. a it's a whole different world. Yeah. I mean, and when you think about it as well, when it, when in court, uh, it's not only a game arena, but it's a room for sort of like magic games, if you like. So they issue a, a summons in the form of a letter. Mm asking you to appear in court. Now, this is what witches do when they want to talk to the dead. They summon them the to, to appear. Yeah. So it's that's that terminology. Yeah. So a summons is, is sort of... It's because we're dead, um, so they're summoning us, summoning us to court. Want, sort of manifesting that person um, by summoning them up. Yeah. And you're basically... Yeah, so but basically it's... you're dead. That's why they have to summon you to yeah, court, because you're a dead entity. Some, yeah. So this, this it's getting summons. you to rise again yeah. from the dead. Yeah. Um, but it is an invitation, isn't it? It's it is not, an invitation. It's not, uh, you don't have to, no. uh, you know, attend. No. Because when people get a summons, they, they think, oh my they God. They get really scared, yeah, don't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 really scared. I've got quite a few summons at the moment. Have you? Yeah. I haven't got one yet. I feel a bit jealous. <laughs> you waiting, yes. No, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got a few, down there in my tennis whites. A few what I call uh, Mickey Mouse summons. With the funny little, they've got the little stamp on, which is like a cartoon. The same as what they use in the internal mail post, actually. Right. The little cartoon crown. Yeah. And that's that, you But know. that's not actually it's legal, ridiculous. is it? That's no, a... and it says county court on it. And the address is like a business address. I quite often will say such and such magistrates, business centre or business park. Um, yeah, but that's all. That's probably for another day when we yeah, talk about that stuff. About but, summons um, and... Yeah, so a genuine genuine court documents, they should have a seal on yeah. as well, a proper seal. And the reason they use a seal is because it's a 
sigils, which we spoke about before. Yeah. So the sigils is an inscribed or painted symbol considered to have magical power. Mm. So the sigils are used to seal magic. So again, a genuine court document would have the seal, which is another form of magic that they use. Yeah, and uh, when we talked about sigils before, I didn't speak up and my, my sister said, why didn't you say anything? Because runes are sigils. Of course they are. And uh, I work with, I've worked with runes for like 24 years, but they're... Um, it's an ancient alphabet. Mm. That's what it is. It's the Norse alphabet from the Norse shaman. And obviously they are amoral, which means if they fall into the wrong hands, they, they can, can be, be used, used for like bad. Like anything, I suppose. Like anything. Yeah, all of these things that we are learning about, you know. My daughter bought a checked handbag the other day and went, oh, mum, I've bought a Masonic handbag. And I said to her, <laughs> I laughed, and I said, but we need to take these things back. Yeah, exactly. And just be able to have a checked handbag without thinking... It's got any ulterior yeah. motive to it. But, um, yeah, so the sigils are things that can be empowered. Mm. Yeah. And okay. that's a classic example, the runes as well, because they are inscribed inscribed into rock, so or stones, aren't they? Yeah, but, I mean, uh, that that's because in the, in the days when they were first used, they didn't have paper. Yeah. But um, the whole point with the runes, there's 24. I use the Elder Food Arc, which is 24 runes. Um, each one... Is I, I is a signature. It has its own signature, vibratory signature. So they look like letters, you know, a bit like letters. Kind of like letters that have dropped or mm. fallen a bit, don't they? Yeah, yeah. or that are just slightly like an angle. They're being carved. They're all straight. Yeah. But if you actually curved them, like we do they with letters, represent. they look yeah. very much like letters. And each one has its own vibrational signature. And if you know how to empower them, oh. um, you then can use you know that vibration or that frequency to do i mean i use them for healing um but uh yeah it's quite interesting because obviously it, it, it's an alphabet so when we were talking about the, mm. the sigils i was i don't know why i didn't say anything mm. i think it's because i thought well I, I don't want to keep bringing my woo into the into a the woo woo <laughs> yeah my woo woo i need this. some woo woo at the moment because i've got a really bad back which is why i feel a bit i'm probably a bit like oh disjointed today I'm trying to resist taking your shoulders. Any medication? Oh, though. I thought you're taking your shoulders up like that. I'm trying to resist, sorry about that. But no, I'm trying to resist taking any medication. But I don't know. Bit I might stiff have to. today. Yeah, I'm just in a little pain. I feel a bit like just a bit out of it. But anyway, that's by the by. So let's have a look at some words that they use. Yes. So magistrates. Yes. So a magistrate is any individual with the power of a public civil office uh, or inferior judicial offer such as justice of the peace or a civil officer charged with administration of the law so phonetically you've got magistrates Mag and, it sounds again, it? Yeah. Yeah. and it sounds similar to if you break down so magi and then straight and you obviously see that word straight s-t-r-a-i-t mm. rather than how we spell yeah. magistrate so of course the, the the magi we go back to the magus yeah. which is meaning magician yeah and then of course the straight is the narrow passage of water that takes you. Where two large bodies of water go in, so classics of like a canal, isn't it? When you go into the Suez canal, canal is a straight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And what does that bring us back to? That kind of bring us back to the birth canal yeah. again, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's that same terminology that they're using. But with a magistrate, then, from what you're saying, they have no legal training. The magistrates. No, it doesn't sound like it, does it? Well, they don't, they don't have no. to have like a law degree or anything. They're like officers, aren't they? Justice of the peace, yeah. civil officer. Yeah. Ch uh, charged with administration yeah. of the law. So they're administrators. Yeah, so anybody could be a magistrate, technically, yeah. And I suppose administration, again, that's a collection of money, money isn't it? Money, it's money, basically a collection yeah, of Yeah, I've been fees. to the magistrate's court, speeding. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's that's what you'll get called to if you get don't pay your council tax and stuff like that mm. as well. It'd be the, like, the county court, the magistrate's court. Uh, so the word attorney. So Latin, turno, which is in the middle of attorney, means to turn or turn around mm -hmm. uh, it's a term meaning transfer or that you have transferred the right of your rights to him so okay so you've given you employ an attorney and you're giving them your rights yeah and don't forget what i said about once you touch the bar yeah and you enter that thing you can you are dead you can't speak to the judge and the attorney is your mouthpiece so he's like your yeah mouthpiece yeah, yeah. so he's basically gonna decide how it goes mm. if you think about it mm. so prosecutor so latin origin so if you break it down into pro c and then it would be cutus right so uh pro means present mm -hmm. c is oneself mm -hmm. and then cutus is skin 
in Latin, so like subcutaneous cut, that's the word that we use for skin. So that would, so mean... that would represent one skin. So they present you in the worst light so they can win the game. So the prosecutor is the executor. Right, so the prosecutor, hang on, let's recap that. The prosecutor means the present self Yeah, of, so of present skin. self of skin, so representing one's skin. So they Your skin. They present you in the worst light so they can win the game. So in, in effect, the prosecutor is the executor. Right, because so they're, they're the decider. He's going to kill you. They're well, they, going to kill they, you. You're already dead. You're already dead. Because you're bloody of course. drowned in your deep water, you're aren't drowning, you? You're yeah. drowned in Because you've there. opened the bloody floodgate. Mm, <laughs> horrible. It is pretty gross, isn't it? It's grim. And then it's lawyer. Grim. Lawyer. Mm. So Latin, that derives from la or lars, meaning customary law or one who is authorised. So that's quite a simple one, really, a lawyer. There's, yeah. isn't too much. So or, just authorised in law. Yeah, there isn't anything particularly dark in that one. So barrister, Latin. So barrow means dunce, incompetent. Ooh. And the word uh, stir or stare, S-T-A-R-E, means to stand firm or in position. So it infers to mean to stand in for a dunce. So your barrister, <laughs> basically, is... Standing in for us, the simple people. Where the dunces. Yeah. How very, very rude. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind, kind word. Uh, a contract as well, just the word contract. So an agreement between two or more persons which creates an obligation to do or not to do a, a particular yeah. thing. So the word con is a verb meaning to swindle or trick, mm. as we know. And then as a noun, the word tract is a brief... A treaty or pamphlet for general distribution, usually religious or political in topic. So it basically means it's a, it's a, it's a, a trick. Yeah. So it's a cr trick agreement. So it can be translated as a, a deceptive treatise or a treatise of trickery. Mm. So it reveals that a contract can be used to deceive you. So in other words, don't enter into any contracts mm. because they're going to be deceptive. And they're mm. designed to deceive. Can be designed. I wouldn't say, yeah. Not all of them, then. Mm, well, depends how you look at it, but I suppose, yeah, that was kind of specific. But the actual word yeah. is, is, is implies mm. that it's trickery. 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 So when I also, I looked into a little bit more, so that was sort of how all the courts are connected to the maritime law mm. and that sort of legal fiction. But mm. also when I looked into it, a lot of the words are connected to energy and power terms. Now, we spoke a little bit, didn't we, about how when we were babies, we might be considered cells and the cells of energy, and yeah. the cells of energy and how they're also using the system to, to extract our, our, energy our energy and stuff like that. Our so, life force. Yeah. So this is terminology that's used throughout the courts. So judge, so has power, courts are powerful. That's kind of power connected. Now, the word arrested... That's when power is stopped with resistors. Oh. Like a cardiac arrest. On a arrest. circuit board. If you think about it, yeah, if you have a cardiac arrest oh, yes. as well. Yes, yes. Arrested. Okay. So if something's arrested, it's the, the power has been cut. Yeah, power has been cut. So resisting uh, is the same as resistors. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's the same with the circuit board. Yeah. Um, the terminology for jailed means you are shocked. What, like an electric shock? Mm. shock. Wow, I never knew that. Shocked. Charged, when you're charged for something, that's an energetic yeah, charge get, or you, a discharge. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Uh, there's circuit court, which I'm not sure about that terminology, but that does, like, where that's used in our courts, or whether it's yeah, an, an American de term. definition, but that's obviously circuit board. Yeah. Um, duration, power flow. So the duration of a term or duration of a, is a, is, is a, a power flow. Um, force, so people can force entry or... Force, you know, it's, it's something that they do. They force something upon you. That's mm. a power term because yeah, force is energy, energy. The force, the velocity, yeah. Um, impede your judgment is an electrical term to slow power surges. You in the power world, yeah. If you impede in the your judgment world. in the power, I don't, <laughs> I don't know much about <laughs> the power world. Do you about electricians? No, I don't work for Southern Electric. <laughs> and then, <I> think, <laughs> thank God. Yeah. And then battery. Yeah. So of if course. you're attacking somebody, that's an attack on another person. But of course, battery is, is a battery. Is your is power a, is cell, cell is another yeah. cell. Yeah. Um, if you're bonded by the court, it's an electrical earthing, a bonding. So when you bond okay. things together. Conduct. Yeah, of course. Is an energy flow. Energy, yeah. yeah. And obviously your conduct gets you where you're going to, you know, whether you might be done. And then, of course, a holding cell in a prison um, is an internal structure of a battery. Right. Again. So 
Yeah, it's interesting how those words, so again... It's, it's all about keeping us dead so that they can siphon off our energy. Sounds like our it, Our life it? force. That's what it feels like yeah, to me. I feel as if, you know, we're considered dead because they've got our energy. Yeah. The, 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 the trickery yeah. is that they And then they, they our, decipher it, basically, yeah. from us. And if you think, a complaint needs the grounds to stand on as all currents need grounding. You know, it's the t- terminology. It's all... Yeah. Isn't it? Ca- because we always have an earth, don't we, in our plugs and things. Yeah, energy has to be earthed. Yeah. Mm. And then also, I looked a little bit further and looked at, like, religious words and um, words that they use. Because, you know, it's also been said that the judges and people who work in courts are of religious... You know, there is a religious connection to it as well, to the robes, to the, to the whole... Well, yeah, but I always thought it was, like, the occult religion. Hmm. Their religion is yeah. occultism, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So um, a hearing is a confession, as you when you'd confess to, to, to a priest. Yeah. Um, sentence is penance or pittance. You have a sentence. Uh, absolution is being released or freed. Yeah. Bench, so it's a bank or an altar. The judge sits on the bench. And then the word writ, so when you have a writ... So there, there isn't a W in the Latin alphabet, so it would be R I T or R I T E. Uh, so we go back to it being a rite, a rite. Which is, yeah, right, which is then connected to a ritual. Yeah. Um, a notary is a scribe of the Inquisition from the Latin scrivener to take notes, mm. and then um, clerk and cleric are very similar in the way that they're. Um, yeah, and of course all priests etc. Are, are church mm. clerks, aren't yeah. they? All yeah. clerks. Yeah. 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 So that was, yeah. So there's a kind of um, overlap mm. with religious mm. terms. Perhaps. As well. I mean, it's just what I found, yeah. It's just like looking, it's just the information that I found out when I did I'm a bit just, of research. I'm just going to like put you on the spot here and oh, ask no, you don't. a question. <laughs> oh, no, I just wondered, did you, in your research, did you come across anything about why they wear the wigs? Why judges wear wigs? Because I find that really weird. It's Dress, dressing it's, up? It's part, yeah. Is it part of them stepping into that role? role. Or is there, I mean, yeah, it's worth looking into. Is it to do with the robes that they wear, the religious robes? No, is I there just, a religious... I just wonder because, you know, the, there's that thing as well of when you're, this is how I felt when I had to go, I had to do jury service as quite a young woman and I tried really hard to get out of it on health grounds because I didn't want to do it. But you can't get out of it. If you get picked, you get picked. And that's that. Mm-hmm. But, um, and I was jury, I wasn't on trial or anything, but the whole thing with the wig and the... I think it's there to intimidate and kind of it's alien. It doesn't feel like human beings in the room. It feels as if you've got them there dressed up like that and then there's kind of everybody else. Or is it historical? Because, of course, they used to wear those wigs. They did used back to in wear the day, them, didn't they? they? Around, you think um, like William Orange and Prince you know, yeah, they, they all, all had, had those, those silly stupid wigs. curly bits at so the side. So was it maybe just that they started that whole thing at, at that, that time? period and the wig yeah, stayed And the on. robe and yeah. the, the... I think, it, yeah, I don't know, but that was my guessing. That would it is make ridiculous, sense. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, honestly. But when you get a summons, because obviously there's a lot, there's people contacting me at the moment about that sort of thing and saying, you know, um, I've just got this. You don't have to go, do you? No. I've done different things to different people. There's lots of remedies and we'll do a proper video on it Mm. if people want to stop paying their bills Mm. um, and want to... Step, step away, out. step away from their legal fiction. Mm. Um, we'll do a bit of a video on it, but there's no right or wrong way. Um, it's not something you should even consider doing until you know who you are. You know, there is there is no remedy. It's hit and miss, and there's lots and lots of different ways that people um, do it. And there's also lots of people who do it the same way. Some people will end up people knocking on their doors. Other people will end up with absolutely nothing. Mm. There's no depending on how you handle it or how no, you respond. Just, no, just no, all of it. I mean, you can have two people who respond exactly the same way. For instance, return return everything to sender. You'll get one person who'll say, "I've had never paid my council tax for haven't paid it for fifteen years, never heard anything." And then you'll get somebody else who's had the court summons, the bailiffs knocking on their door, so and they've might, both done the same. So it might remedy. depend on the council you're dealing with. The or council, whatever, I just, or how. yeah, yeah. So it's one of those things that you have to be... I mean, I just feel, obviously, I'm not paying certain things and I'm sort of waiting for a court summons at some point. Um, but I I stand under common law now, so I wouldn't entertain the maritime system at all. I just wouldn't go. No. Um, I just because sent I'm them not back. engaging. Yeah. yeah, I sent them back and I just put on their... Um, I declined, declined your offer. I usually put, well, on things that I send back, 
that are co corporative, I usually put, um, I'm a free woman who stands under common law and British constitutional law, and I cannot possibly do business with a treasonous corporation. corporation. Mm -hmm. And then I I haven't heard back when I put that through. But I mean, so, lots of people just put return to sender, not at this address. And that seems to work just as well as, as anything. Well, and yeah. then when people then, I mean, like now I get certain things coming in as to the, it's not the occupier anymore, to the new resident. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. So you need to look at those two words and what they mean because there'll be a reason why, why they're putting resident as opposed to occupier. New resident, yeah. yeah. There, there will be a reason behind that, won't there? Mm. Um, but yeah, they, it's a decision that people can make, but it's not one that you can say, oh, can you sit down and tell me how to do it? Or it, you have to make that decision yourself and you really have to know who you are. You have to know your stuff to do because I've seen, uh, you know, some of the people that really know their common law go in and absolutely take the court to pieces. I wouldn't and, and entertain walk out. Court. But you've got to know your shit to do that, haven't you? I just you've wouldn't really even entertain it though because you're still you're still engaging, contracting. you're still contracting, yeah. aren't you? As soon as you leave that bar and walk through that gate, and there's also the all rise. Do you remember that lady Tamara? And when she was arrested in the summer and then she refused to stand in court, That's didn't right. she? And yeah. they went mental because she would not stand. They're saying, you are so disrespectful. <laughs> they like, just, they were just, oh, weren't they? Couldn't handle so it. So angry. But I don't think they can start the court unless you rise. No, they can't. So by not standing up, they couldn't start the court. Has to be case. adjourned anyway then, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So she was refusing because she was under arrest. She was being held, wasn't she? Yeah. So she had no choice about going into the court. Yes, but by not standing, standing, she was yeah standing within her sovereignty. Yeah, the the, the case couldn't couldn't continue. Mm. So um, yeah, it's interesting. So anyway, um, we're looking at the time. I know you've got a bit more. No, there we can do that next time about cryptocurrency. But we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. But basically, guys, just remember that all of this legalese jargon, uh, once you understand it and you break it down. Um, you're basically, con I'm going to have to stop and do some healing oh, on your back before we do anything else, before we go out and hassle people in yeah, supermarkets. Yeah, we're going to the supermarkets today. We are, we're going to remind the security um, of the law. And the managers, hopefully, we're going to talk and to managers. the managers. We have yeah, got some yeah. notices that we, we will have. only serve if they prove to be difficult, but we want to talk to them on a human-to-human -human level. We do, we do. We're, um, we're, we're women, we notice as well, we're women in black, black today. today. Witchy, witchy. Witchy, witchy, but good <laughs> witches, yeah. So, um, yeah, so anyway, we hope that this video has been informative to you as in how the courts work and maybe how to look at if you are getting summons and things that um, if you're being summoned to something, you can always say no. And they are just trying to, like, rouse you from yeah, the dead, aren't they? Yeah. Summon, summons to appear. You, when you listen to it, you, it's so obvious, isn't it? You're summoning up The spirits. terminology, yeah, the terminology is because you're dead. It's so dark. They want this dead entity to appear in their yeah. fictitious courts bastards yikes anyway we're not having any of that are we Tash no no anyway we'll be back next week what are we going to talk about next week don't know do we maybe Christmas oh yeah we were going to do a Christmas gonna special we're going to ruin all of your Christmases <laughs> just like that but we'll save you lots of money at the same time <laughs> yeah. look at it that way anyway have a good week and um, we, we will see you next Friday next Friday it is all being well hopefully and I won't have a weird back and be mm -hmm. no I'm going to fix your back in a minute bye all right, see you later, guys. Bye.